am doing a day in the life of a private practice lactation consultant. Um, I've been doing this for two and a half years now, but I worked in the hospital for four years. So my days are a little bit different than they were in the hospital. And that is something I'm still learning to make more organized and better. So let's just see what I've done so far. First things first, got to get my bag packed. My laptop is in there and um, a pen and a little spiral to take notes just in case my laptop dies because that happens. Um, and I don't like asking to use a charger. I don't know why, guys. I don't know why. Gloves and then like extra supplies over there. And then, of course, the scale. And I usually clean this like every single night when I get home. So my kitchen is super messy. I'm not apologizing for it because that is real life and <laughs> truthfully I have been like suffering from allergies for the past couple of days so I've laid in bed and rested and listened to my body and now I'm up and I'm ready to work so the kitchen's a mess um my husband and I actually cleaned it two days ago, but of course, when you live in your house, like it's just gonna keep getting messy. Anyways, one thing I realized um, with me doing private practice is that I go out to eat entirely too much. I go to coffee shops to chart and I go to coffee shops um, to work in between visits, which I love doing, but the more that I do this, especially this summer, um, I'm able to work a lot more. The more that I do this, the less um, I want to go to a coffee shop. So I told myself for the month of July, I was not gonna go to a coffee shop at all. Um, we shall see. <laughs> um, but I really wanna stick to that, especially because I just got this new syrup that I wanted. Um, it's some pistachio syrup. I really wanted it and I have a creamer and I have coffee at home. So I'm trying to be like more reasonable about those things and just pack a lunch now, which I never used to do. I used to just take like little protein bars and snacks and stuff. But now I'm trying to take a full lunch with me. So that's what I'm doing now, right before I leave. I don't have to leave for another 20 minutes, but I am recording all of this today, so I just want to make sure that I record it and I'm still talking and whatnot. So I have a lunch packed. I have so many goodies in here that can sit in a Texas car um, for the day. And then, yeah, I'm gonna put some tahini on these cucumbers and start packing up my car. Yeah, baby. Okay, I'm in my car now. It's kind of raining. Um, I have everything packed. So the things I put in my car with me, I have a water and iced coffee, my lunch, my suitcase, and some books just in case I have like downtime where I have to sit in my car. Um, and now I'm going to my first appointment. On my way, I forgot gloves, so I had to stop by Walgreens. So right now I'm heading into my first appointment, which is at a pediatric dental office this is the outside of the office and as you see inside it's super cute just had like really fun little area for kids to play in hey so obviously i couldn't take y'all inside but i just left the first appointment which was a phrenotomy support um and i think it's really cool that our practice offers it so basically all i did was go with the family watch the baby get the phrenotomy procedure this baby got a lip and his tongue tie revised by a pediatric dentist and then i watched them go over the exercises with the staff that they have there help to do an initial latch after the procedure and kind of talk everything through and then i'll follow up with them again on friday and then next week as well so that was really cool i wish i could show you what it looks like to see a baby get a phrenotomy it's super 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 fast obviously it is completely up to parents if they choose to do that or not but it was good nonetheless now i'm about to drive to my next appointment in the beginning of this video i said i'm trying not to stop at starbucks there's literally a starbucks right behind me 
but I have coffee in my car and I have water and I have lunch so I'm not stopping which opens up my schedule a little bit normally I would chart um anyways this next appointment's only 60 minutes away from where I'm at and it doesn't start for another hour so something I'm trying to do I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna be able to make it work but I'm trying to get my steps in um, because a big part of this job is sitting in my car lately and it's not good for me baby I gotta work on my fitness my physique and sitting in the car is not helpful for that and I've learned that during this pandemic um so I am gonna find a park to go for a walk so this might be crazy but I decided to go for a walk like I said you can hear the thunder and that's why this is probably a terrible idea but I need to walk around a little bit it's so nice. Well, it started raining, so I'm about to eat lunch in my car. Uh, my car's kind of messy. Actually, it's not that messy. But there's my lunch that I guess you'll watch me make this morning. So I'm going to make lunch, I mean, eat lunch right now and then start driving. I have. 35 minutes until my next consult and it is six minutes away so I like to get everywhere super early that's just who I am as a person um even if I have to sit outside your house for 20 minutes that's better than being late in my opinion so I'll probably eat and drive truthfully we'll see oh this sucks and has never happened to me before which is surprising because it tends to rain pretty frequently here but um, it's not a house, it's a complex. So I have to walk around a little bit and I'm really contemplating, do I just get myself soaked or what? Sucks, it sucks. I don't have an umbrella either, of course, because I took it out when I cleaned my car. feeling stupid because I did not think this through. I've never needed an umbrella before. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's pouring. I know if I walk out, I will be absolutely soaked when I go in. And that just doesn't seem like a good idea. So, I still have 10 minutes until the console, and I'm kind of, I messaged them already and said, hey, I'm waiting for the rain to pass. So, I'm kind of just sitting here thinking, I don't know, I'm just going to sit, I guess, and wait. I don't know, it's never happened to me before, so this is kind of funny that I'm videoing it. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. I... I'm likely just gonna get out of the car and haul it and just kind of like run but here's why this never works so obviously if you've ever been in a complex like a condo complex or apartment complex whichever once I get out of the car and get into the gate then I have to look for the location I've already messaged the mom but here's the issue is if she's at home by herself then I'm not gonna ask her to come out here and bring her baby out here, you know what I mean? So, I just, I'm gonna probably end up just getting soaked. Like, it is what it is. Those are my thoughts. Y'all, yeah, that was, that whole rain situation was crazy. I got kind of soaked, but it's Houston. I think we were like, mm, whatever. I am getting gas currently. La la la. And um, that was a really good consult. I will probably go into detail about all of my consults later. I forgot my laptop at home this morning. I packed the laptop bag, but did not put the laptop in it. So I did not chart during the consult. So I have to do all my charting tonight. Um, this consult was a two week old, 
actually very interesting and had cephalohematoma, which means there was swelling on one side of the head. Um, mom was using a nipple shield. She wanted to continue using a nipple shield and I supported that decision um, because some people hate them, some people love them. Uh, we did incorporate some pumping after the feedings. The pediatrician has them going back for a weight check in two days. And so I said we would kind of make a plan for these two days and then a plan for after the weight check if baby didn't meet the weight. Um, and then we, I'll be following up with them next week. So we just kind of made goals and plans for the next couple of days and then we'll be touching base again and now i'm about to drive to my final console of the day it is 45 minutes away from here which is closer to my home but further away from here so i have a drive gonna listen to a podcast an album um yeah and then head out that way i'm still very early because i schedule all my stuff to where i can be early for things um so hopefully it's not as bad of weather out there and i can go for a little bit of a walk again to get these steps up okay let's see where we're at i'm only at four thousand steps for the day and i want to get ten thousand before i go to sleep so got some walking to do I don't always want to use the restroom at client's houses, so I am stopping at a grocery store. So this is actually after my third consult. I went to Target to pick up some extra supplies. And then I got home to my crazy kids and my happy little family. And now I get all my stuff put away and start cleaning off the scale, making sure everything's sanitized, wiped down, and ready for the next consult. Okay, I finished all my consults made a stop by target and got home in by seven o'clock so today i worked from 11 until about six and then just throw in 45 minutes before and after to commute even though it probably wasn't that long so that final consult that i had today um it was a four month old and it was more just to do like a weight check slash see how much she was getting um, because there were concerns about it and the baby had a couple of other things going on so we were just checking that out and it ended up being a cute little visit i love seeing older babies because they're just super cute and smiley it's hard though because they get very distracted so i have to not talk for a good part of the console and sit kind of further um but it was still a good one overall um yeah i'm gonna keep getting these little steps in and go home get some water shower get ready for tomorrow oh well i still have to chart because i forgot my laptop so i will go home and chart as well Ooh, they did it. Now I'm heading home. All right, y'all, we made it to the end of the day, and now I get to sit and enjoy an ice cream cone and chart all three of my consults and everything that I did for the entire day. All in all, it was a really good day of consults, and I'm ready to do it all over again. Thanks for watching.